Okay, good afternoon uh, from Lucknow. Uh, this is a good opportunity to uh, share uh, some of our uh, work that we have done in the field of public health. Uh, I have been associated with uh, the satcom based telemedicine program of UN USA for over now uh, six to seven years. And we have shared some of our experience um, with um, uh, the de delegation we had uh, in Montreal and also the other places like Verona and wherever the UN USA organized the workshops. India is a country with uh, good satellite connectivity available free of cost for health and education and societal purposes. So we have developed some of the, the solutions based on the satellite communication to give uh, healthcare access to the villagers using portable uh, toolkits which I am going to share with you today in, in this presentation. So my presentation would be on SATCOM based, cloud based portable e-health toolkit for public health. Coming to introduction, um, presentation, uh, mobile health is the use of mobile communication technology as an integral part of healthcare delivery. The mobile phone is one of the fastest growing telecommunication infrastructure at both national and global levels. Now, ITU predicts an estimate of 5 billion mobile subscriptions globally with 1 in 5 of those having access to mobile broadband. Another 28 percent growth of 6.6 .6 billion wireless subscriptions is expected by 2016 with 30 percent of or twice the current percent of users being mobile broadband enabled. Mhealth aims to improve healthcare delivery through e-care, e-services, e-surveillance and e-learning. Mhealth is part of the e-health and therefore it carries all of its promises and concerns. Now the key applications uh, that you can use uh, mhealth are education and awareness, remote data collection, remote monitoring which are very important for public health, communication and training for healthcare workers working in the public health uh, works in the villages, disease and epidemic outbreak tracking which is again relevant to public health and diagnostic and treatment uh, support. If you see the who are the key players, uh, they use this portable uh, ML toolkits. We see here it starts from the ground level, the healthcare providers, more efficient and effective delivery of the health services as occur in the uh, village level, non-government organizations, uh, the incentives they use are advanced organizational mission attract funding, foundations advanced organizational mission, government more efficient healthcare provisions effective government, equipment providers the device revenue generation improved brand recognition, service providers revenue from service fees increased subscriber base, application solution providers the revenue from additional application license giving a value add services, content management increase in the volume of readership or revenue and platform providers are revenue uh, from the sales. So, so much of applications will get this uh, portable devices using mobile communication mode. Now, if you look at the ML uh, applications in India that we are uh, looking at over the last 10 years uh, we have been using uh, tel telemedicine in the wheel supported by satellite uh, from our Indian space research organization. And you can see several types of buses are available where people have gone for thin based applications like ophthalmology, cancer, etc. Now, another thing is ML uh, through various types of handheld devices, not necessarily the mobile phones. Let me see here one of these mobile health platforms where uh, public health uh, problems like cancer has been attracted by a non government organization called Malabar Cancer Society in the uh, in state of Kerala, so where they use satellite communication for. Uh, reaching out to villages for continuing of care in cancer patients. And in addition to the, uh, the, the video conferencing, we have several medical diagnostics that you can do perform including x-rays, uh, checks of blood pressure, digital ECG, uh, etc. Many of this uh, other public health uh, caregivers like cataract uh, or, or for uh, other purposes of uh, uh, health problems in the villages they are using this. Uh, uh, mobile telemedicine uh, planted in the bus. This is several uh, pictures in this uh, slide. You will find many organizations are uh, using this uh, telemedicine bus uh, for different uh, kind of application. Now, ophthalmology care using the mobile uh, telemedicine is very much popular in our country. Uh, there are two uh, major hospitals in southern India, one is Arvind Eye Hospital and uh, Sankar Netralaya. So, they are involved with uh, 
uh, the tele-ophthalmology services uh, reaching out uh, to the doorstep of the villagers. You have a successful program of satellite based uh, telemedicine system in India. What is the current impact on the future needs uh, that you can uh, mit, uh, mitigate with uh, health? Now, health is one of the major challenges being faced by both medical and practice and healthcare policies. As nanomedicine and genetic therapy are being considered the future advancement in health science, so also M health is felt as the future of healthcare delivery, especially personalized care. Now, we developed this uh, a project called M Health for you, and uh, some of the products will show you the, uh, the there are uh, kind of prototypes that I have developed. We are waiting for markets to take over, and uh, this is a trade name called M Health for, for you, a portable low cost mobile telemedicine kit. Uh, it is conceptualized, designed, and prototype developed at the M Health Research Laboratory at School of Telemedicine and Biomedical Informatics in the year 2008. And Developed two versions: uh, one is ML for you B backpack and ML for you S suitcase. So I'll just go to this uh, configuration of uh, both the units. You see, in the left side, you, you have a suitcase model, and the right side is the backpack uh, model. And uh, you'll find the devices that is there that is common to both. However, the computing platform is different. One is based on the Atom processor, and one is uh, based on uh, the the standard uh, processor that you have the. Uh, Pentium uh, processors actually. So here we find uh, in the left side and suitcase there is an interface called black color, in black box you can see here. So all those devices are connected to this black box and a single uh, output goes to the USB port. And this large screen uh, is used for educational purposes whereas this right side is short screen uh, of 7 inch, uh, 11 inches short screen of uh, uh, atom processor based computer is used mostly for the telehealth uh, service part actually. So here you can see the video conferencing that is common in both. Uh, this situation we use this software based video conferencing using uh, web platform and you can see here both near and far end people are there in the screen. So this does not require a hardware based uh, configuration which add to the cost of the uh, telemedicine uh, toolkit. So this uh, com uh, um, um, platforms both backpack and suitcase they, uh, the components are is a computer system as I told you. Uh, to decrease the cost, you can use uh, atom based processor. Now, of course, uh, we have uh, several uh, models of uh, handled uh, smartphones, so you call it uh, different types of tablets or uh, called phablets, and all those things you can all be designed to uh, develop with this kind of uh, portable uh, uh, telemedicine toolkit. So, you have a computer system and you have a communication technology, you, whether you want to use 3G or 4G or any other wireless, it has to be wireless. Uh, uh, technology to be used to the villages. Uh, so here you can use satellite is available, otherwise you can use several of this new generation network, uh, 3G, 4G as well as uh, WMAX. In India the new thing that is happening is uh, many of these rural areas are now getting connected with fiber. So we have this village level administration unit called Gram Panchayat. So we have 250,000 of those Gram Panchayats who uh, now we are getting a new project called NOFN, uh, National Optic Fiber Network. So this is going to reach uh, this uh, village uh, uh, units. So a, a conglomeration of uh, 10 to 12 villages will have a gram uh, village uh, administration unit, we call it Gram Panchayat. So up to that point uh, the fiber is going to be there and from there various uh, wireless uh, and, uh, modes uh, can be used to give uh, a broadband internet uh, to the uh, villagers. So you can use all those things, uh, any type of computing platform, a software based video conferencing or integrated medical equipment uh, that we have seen and application software uh, for telemedicine. Whether you want to uh, disease based uh, like for diabetes or uh, for hypertension or you have a, a common software having all the uh, components into that. So anything can be used in that platform. So as I just told you, a computing platform can of uh, different types, so we have used uh, here uh, a, a portable uh, uh, platform, uh, both uh, large size computer, uh, laptop computer or atom based lap laptop, but you can go for any other uh, small um, devices like tablet as I told you. But however, the denominator, uh, common denominator is uh, a, a web based uh, video conference software and web based application software uh, and it has to, uh, we are using correctly in, uh, in uh, web based platform, but very soon we are going to go a cloud uh, platform. Uh, so all the software that is being used uh, are being uh, uh, accessed from our data center here 
and after this work is done, it is come back to the data center for storage. So we are using software as a service model, SaaS model in this. So currently in India, we have plenty of opportunities besides satellite communication to go for a wireless broadband and very soon also once the NOFN comes up, we will find the cost and everything will come down and we will be able to access very high speed internet. So that will really revolutionize the, the health sector. So uh, the most important thing that you now look at is, uh, then the, the, the is there has to be a face-to-face uh, -face communication between the patient and the doctor. So the, for that reason, we have chosen a kind of software. There are plenty of software available in the market. So we have chosen a company called People Link, and we found it quite uh, useful. And there are several others are available where different kinds of uh, the commercial uh, options are available you have to pick up one. And however, we have purchased uh, four licenses of the people link and put in our uh, data center and which is being used uh, by many uh, nodes uh, in the time sharing uh, basis. That will definitely reduce the cost of this thing. So we see here how we have in, uh, uh, integrated the ML for you um, in, a, in integrated solutions is look at you that uh, ML for you is a mobile telehealth solution designed, developed and validated by the School of Telemetry and Informatics. It's available both in aluminum polycarbonate case, uh, just like in airplane uh, cabin bag size and the standard backpack model. So we have uh, ground level health workers in our country, we call it triple A, Anganbadi workers, uh, ASA, accredited state health activist, ASHA, ASA, and then third one is auxiliary nurse midwives. So we call it three A's, they are the real backbone of the ground level health care workforce. So we give them uh, this um, uh, backpacks. So, which is uh, really empowering them uh, to, to, to connect the villages to, uh, to the hospital. So, uh, as I told you, the, the atom based processor based laptop is a smaller size and uh, it is good for uh, healthcare service delivery, not the uh, educational uh, delivery. And uh, we use, of course, the window based uh, operating system. Uh, you can use any, anything you like in your, your environment. And all the medical diagnostics, basic medical care, we have blood pressure, uh, pulse rate, uh, the, uh, the oxygen concentration, uh, digital stethoscope, all the minimum basic parameters of physical uh, examinations are available and which are integrated to the USB port, uh, single USB port uh, to the computer. And of course, uh, main important thing is a backbone is the internet, uh, high speed internet. And sometimes you do not have a, a kind of bandwidth in that particular place, but you can store the uh, the captured data and uh, other than when you get opportunity, so you can do it in a asynchronous uh, manner, uh, transfer the data in those cases. Only limitation of this is we will not be able to interact with uh, video conferencing. So all medical equipments are integrated with a software called CureSoft. This is a proprietary software. IP based video conference software is used for a telemedicine interactive uh, session. So you see here in this slide you find uh, uh, the devices, uh, they are all uh, can be integrated into the uh, telemedicine uh, system. Now we are currently are using a software for uh, using a web based platform to connect to our data center and very soon we are going for a cloud that we are working now actually. So if you see here uh, the typical scenario, the, uh, the left side uh, is uh, our health workers going to the villages there and uh, um, taking care of these health checkups of the villagers and the doctor on the right side is sitting in uh, my hospital uh, duty room and uh, in addition to looking after the patients in the world, uh, she is also giving the remote uh, consultation and uh, remote monitoring of the health of the villagers. This is the situation that you can see here and uh, you can see here a ECG record that is available to the doctor in a hospital along with uh, uh, the other basic uh, health parameters. So this small video, if you see here, I will give a demonstration of how this uh, unit is getting uh, uh, operated uh, in a village. Uh, this is a village very near our hospital and here uh, it is a typical uh, scenario of the villages in India. Uh, not many infrastructure available, uh, they are economically a little poor and uh, even if they have some problems, they take a lot of time to arrange money because you do not have insurance system. So they have to organize money from their pocket uh, and go to the hospital. So at least we try to at least pick up any problems they have at least at the basic health uh, checkup level and uh, we train our healthcare workers to have basic health clinical examination and some basic tests and transmit the entire uh, data uh, putting in a, a software folder uh, with patient ad identity 
uh, to the hospitals uh, to get their consultation. Uh, as you see here, uh, I mean, this is all happening in real time. And uh, as I told you, if the network is not there, you can do in offline also. Uh, but uh, majority of cases uh, in our setup, uh, we could get uh, the bandwidth using, we carry uh, the, the 3D, uh, 3G data card uh, to get access to the uh, internet. So uh, as you know that once the data is available to the doctors, the doctors uh, give them, uh, carry out audio video conference and advice to the patient uh, about, and uh, letting the patient know what is the health status and the health worker is there to facilitate the conversation between the patient and the doctor. We give uh, a lot of importance to uh, the communication because visual communication we believe is the backbone of, of uh, a, a telemedicine uh, good practice actually. So similarly we have tested this unit in different other uh, locations and we found that it is quite uh, helpful and it is doable and it is working very well and I think it is affordable and it, uh, it is totally audited and we found that it can be go to the market any time. So uh, the, coming to the last part of my presentation, the advancement of ML technology should be exploited in the rural uh, healthcare delivery setting in low resource countries where the mobile telecommunication network has already reached. A technology neutral approach to the universal service rural healthcare support mechanism will help sustain the virtuous cycle of innovation and investment that has already provided many ML solutions. ML for mobile health or efficient uh, high quality healthcare services for mobile citizens and EU health or ubiquitous healthcare that focuses on e health applications that can provide healthcare to people anywhere at any time using broadband and wireless mobile technologies. The toolkit has been developed keeping in mind the basic healthcare needs in remote villages in Indian setting, a situation akin to countries in developing world. Besides the local available technology and scale, cost factor has been taken into account. While field deployment has been successful in testing the local available mobile network, the human factor such as acceptability of the device and operational simplicity was also taken into consideration. Now to conclude my presentation, evolving software solutions will help to further the growth, acceptance and adoption of telemedicine initiatives. Telehealth solutions based on broadband and wireless mobile technology can provide, can only provide healthcare access to the doorstep of the villagers. Web technology and video conferencing are emerging as powerful tools in telemedicine and telehealth initiative worldwide. Keeping telemedicine cost low will enable entrepreneurs to reach out to the care seekers, including those in the rural regions and low income patients who cannot afford to travel long distances of care. Now, thank you very much. This is my uh, end uh, of my presentation. Uh, this is the School of Telemedicine and Biomedical Informatics where my research uh, in the telemedicine um, has been done for the last over 15 years. I am basically a surgeon and I am very passionate about technologies uh, to uh, make healthcare accessible uh, to the uh, unleashed uh, areas. So uh, I am fortunately not be there for discussion. Uh, I have to go to attend a meeting uh, by the Ministry of Health the Government of India tomorrow. So if anything, any follow up action has to be taken, please send me email and uh, I will definitely respond uh, uh, and whatever queries are there, follow up actions. So Dr. Ajit Babu, I am sure, uh, will note down all those uh, points and let me know so I will be able to uh, reply to those queries. Thank you again and good luck and best uh, wishes uh, for the successful workshops on the Action 6 follow up initiative.